Saturday. I'm in my SPF mug this morning. I uh, am out of coffee, actually. I had to, I ordered some more um, regular coffee. So I did the whole instant packet this morning. Um, God, the Four Sigmatics coffee is really good, though. Um, yeah, it makes a smaller cup than what I typically brew, so I'll have to double up on that a little bit later. Um, anyways, yeah, I woke up this morning and I did my Blog Lottie's sideways abs routine thing. And that particular video, I'll list it down below for you guys, is really funny because there's like this guy, he goes by the name Buff Dude, he's like a fitness guy. And he's like a really big bodybuilder type. And uh, he was dying in the video. Like she has a, a fitness friend come on and do the videos with her sometimes. And uh, he was dying in the video. So I didn't feel so badly. I was like, well, if this guy finds it difficult, then I guess I'm okay. Um, so yeah, I did that this morning. And I'm making my way through the tree, the, um, the Awakening Lands. I'm on the last book is The Town. It's a three, it's like a trilogy. And uh, it's, I'm just really enjoying it. So I've got a couple hundred more pages of that left, but I wanna try and go to the library today. I don't know if I'm gonna have time because my mom and I are gonna take a little road trip this week and I sort of wanna get an audio book. My mom has uh, a CD player, although I don't actually know if it works. <laughs> she has a CD player in her car. Um, come to think of it, I don't think it works. So maybe scratch that idea. But comment below and if you guys have any recommendations for any audiobooks, because um, I'd love to know. You know, audiobooks, not only does the book have to be good, but the reader has to be good. Otherwise, you can really get lost um, and it can not go well. I've had some not so great readers on, uh, what is it, the popular audiobook thing? Audible. <laughs> Yeah, I've had some, some hits and some misses. Um, but anyways, I have the, uh, several sunscreens here that I showed on my Instagram earlier this week because um, I don't know if you guys know, it's a big Sephora sale. And there's like nothing on that website that I really recommend. It's all overpriced, laden with fragrance. I mean, it's really, it's really bare bones. So actually, you know, it ended up being pretty easy for me to find some sunscreens on there that I actually do recommend. And I happen to have all four of the ones that I recommend and I use them and like them a lot. Um, but the majority of the product, skincare products at Sephora have fragrance. I would say there are some good exceptions, but anyways, um, if you're not familiar with a sale, if you're a Rouge member, which I mean, I, I think it's the weirdest thing. Like you have to spend a ton of money to then for two weeks get 20% off of stuff. <laughs> And if you, if you don't spend that maximum amount, it's, it's like quite a bit of money to get to the Rouge status, then you can be, um, what is it, VIB, November 1st through November 11th. If you're a Rouge member, you get 20% off. And November 7th through November 11th, if you are an insider or a VIB, yeah, a VIB or an insider, you get 10% off confusing. It seems like a ripoff and 10% is like, that's it. I get that on Ibotta and Ebates. Oh, Ebates, by the way, you guys download Ebates if you shop online, particularly this holiday season, because they start upping their cash back rebate um, amount during the holidays. So yeah, if you shop the sale or any anything, definitely download Ebates. But I thought I would share with you guys some of the sunscreens that I posted there because I know a lot of you don't do the Instagram thing and I totally understand that. I mean, it's just a bunch of ads. Um, the first one, which I've talked about in my high protection mineral sunscreen video. First of all, they're all, they're all mineral um, and so they don't have any chemical filters and they're all fragrance free, dye free, and they're all good for sensitive skin. And uh, most of them are pretty good for oily prone skin, I would say, because they are more liquidy and kind of dry matte. But this first one, the MD Solar Science Mineral Cream, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorites of the four that I'm recommending. Uh, it really doesn't actually have a tint to it, but it does have, all these have iron oxides, by the way. Iron oxides will protect against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. 
This one has iron oxides in it, but it doesn't have a tint. So if you don't want a tint, which a lot of people don't want to deal with a tint, um, this is a good one. And it goes on, it has that buttery consistency, similar to the um, um, Claire sunscreen that I tried on for you guys on Thursday. Um, it has that same kind of consistency. I really like it. And so if you have a darker skin type, this will leave that kind of sheer white chalky look on your skin. So it's not cast free. But you know, for me, it looks pretty decent after it dries down and I love it. This one of all of the four is the one that I think that if you put on, it would ball up around your makeup a little bit. But for me, it stays in place and doesn't ball up or pill up. The reason I say that with the makeup thing is that it is a little bit more emollient and has a little bit more slippage to it. So I don't know how well that plays with a lot of different makeups, but this one is water resistant, up to 80 minutes, oil free, of course fragrance free as I said, non comedogenic, so very acne friendly. I really like this one a lot. And it doesn't stain around the eyes at all. It has some antioxidants in it, which is why it's a more expensive sunscreen. Um, antioxidants and sunscreens though, they're kind of they're kind of useless because sunscreens form a film on your skin to, to make a protective barrier and the antioxidants can't really get in the way they're formulated in the sunscreens to help your skin. Not only that, they're not really stable ingredients, so they end up not really scavenging any free radicals and you're just kind of paying for the words on the bottle. But anyways, I love that one. Also, if you guys are in the market for a BB cream, their BB cream, it comes in a blue bottle, is really a good one. I like that one. Okay, the next one is my my second favorite is the Murad Environmental Shield City Skin Age Defense SPF uh, 50 PA4+. Plus. See, Murad on their sunscreens will actually do a PA rating. This is zinc and titanium dioxide. It has iron oxides and again, it for blue light protection. I have a video talking about cell phones and blue light and why you, you what ingredients to look for in sunscreen, so check that out. But iron oxides and zinc, non-nano size zinc oxide will protect you against that. Um, this one, this one's great for oily prone skin. Um, it's kind of got that liquid texture. You can see how it goes on, almost like a chemical sunscreen with very little very little cast. I mean, very microfine particles with this. But you, you know, I like that you, they have a PA rating on here, four plus. Like you actually know, you can actually feel pretty confident that when you get a good layer of this all over your face, that you have good protection against the damaging molecular changes associated with UVA. Um, SPF 50 is good. This one I definitely think is worth, is worth it in my opinion. I like that one. And then I just finished up the Super Goop Zinc Screen. This one's only SPF 40 as opposed to the others are 50. I mean, that's not a huge leap in, in difference, to be honest. But uh, this one's a, their mineral, this, this one's a non-nano zinc. Somebody asked on my Instagram what the difference between non-nano zinc and nano zinc is. Nano zinc just means it's nano size, nanoparticles. And for many people, they don't care to use nanoparticles because of uh, laboratory studies that show that it potentially might be harmful for the development of the coral reefs. Um, so they wanna use non-nano, in which case the super goop one is non-nano. Non-nano tends to be a little bit more casty, but in my experience, this one was not, I don't have any left in here. Uh, I apologize for that, but I did review it for you guys. So check out that video if you want to see more in detail how it looks, how it is on the skin. Um, it looks great, and I I really enjoyed this. It's not greasy. It, it dries matte. It, it almost dries matte to powdery. Some people on my Instagram commented that they did find that it was oily. Other people said the opposite. Like you know, it's it's totally up and down what people how, people's experience with any particular product. I really enjoyed this, although I will note that when I got towards the end of it, I find that it doesn't shake up reassuringly. Like you don't hear anything in there. It's just the nature of the way the pump is designed. And so I found that even though I was, sh I was shaking it up each time I used it, I found that when I got down to the last little bits, it, there was some separation. It was a lot more liquidy and runny. So I didn't care for that. This also has coconut oil derivatives in it. 
And coconut oil can be a little bit irritating and it can be problematic for people. Some people's acne is triggered by coconut oil. Um, so if you're sensitive to coconut, coconut oil, you would probably wanna avoid this. It is vegan though. This one's vegan and cruelty free and uh, reef safe. So I really like this one a lot and I definitely, you know, I've tried several of their sunscreens and far and away that, that one I've been the most impressed with. The other one that's I think is good is Unseen. I can't remember if I like that or if it has fragrance. Some of theirs have fragrance. All right, and then the fourth sunscreen is in my opinion really expensive for this tiny little bottle, but I love it. It is Clinique's Pep Start Pep Up. I wanna call it Pep Up. Pep Start Daily UV Protector broad spectrum SPF 50. But anyways, the Clinique Pep Start, this one is also a tinted uh, mineral sunscreen, zinc and titanium dioxide. I prefer this to, they have a non-tinted one that is casty. Like that one to me, I can't tell the difference in appearance between that one and Neutrogena Ultra. Neutrogena makes a fragrance-free liquid mineral sunscreen that looks exactly like this and like a fraction of the price and not exactly like this i'm sorry it looks exactly like their untinted clinique's untinted mineral um spf they look the same and so yeah to me that one's not worth it but this particular one pep star i really like i'm about to run out of batteries here it's got a little bit more peachiness to it this one is more hydrating. Yeah, I really like this one, but it's not greasy. When I say hydrating, I mean like moisturizer. Yeah, Pep Up looks good. I wish I had more of the zinc screen to show you guys. Um, but zinc screen definitely is more, in my experience, was more matte. And that tends to be the case with non-nano zinc things. Yeah, I thought I would share those with you guys because I do really love them. And if you are shopping the sale, Definitely take advantage of Ebates uh, or Rakuten, sorry, Rakuten. Rakuten is a browser extension you can download and put on your computer. And when you shop online, it will instantly give you cash back on purchases you make online. And the amount of cash back varies depending on the day and depending on the store. But during this time of year, like starting November through de December, they start jacking up the amounts that they cash, that they rebate. And so you do not want to go into the holidays if you shop online. Uh, without it. It'll give you cash back on Sephora, Ulta. I mean, so many retailers. It's insane. IHERB. I get the most cash back from IHERB. It's consistently 2% cash back, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you shop on there as, as often as I do, you end up getting quite a bit of cash back. So definitely recommend that. It's better. You guys have been doing that eye restore laser that, um, I talked about in a prior video, the broad, the low level laser light helmet. I do this a few nights a week and I don't know, I think it actually has helped my hair thickness. Like I never noticed that I was undergoing any kind of thinning hair, but like I used to be a ballet dancer and so I, the majority of my life, I wore my hair back in a tight ponytail bun and so I definitely had, probably had a little bit of thinning on the sides here called traction alopecia. Traction alopecia is just due to chronic traction on the hair shaft, can ultimately scar down actually. Sometimes you can get a hair regrowth back in those areas. And the way to remedy it is to stop wearing your hair that way, which I did. I, you know, even though I wear my hair up, I don't put nearly the amount of traction on my on my temporal scalp as I used to. Um, but I feel like my hair has gotten a lot thicker. Like my ponytail is definitely thicker. I've been using this for several months now. When did I start using this? I can't quite remember. Sometime in the summer, I wanna say. I only do it like three nights a week for like 25 minutes. I just put it on my head while I'm like working on the computer and it goes by really quickly. And yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, one other thing I wanted to share with you guys, because I know you all want to know about stuff for your hands this winter. Uh, like a lot of you guys have asked me over on Instagram and in the comments to recommend moisturizers for your hands, for dry cracked hands, and likewise moisturizers or products for windburn. And I love, of course, CeraVe Healing Ointment, 
Vaseline, you can't go wrong. Um, but this is another one that I don't think I've ever talked about. It's called Theraplex Barrier Cream. It is really nice. You can put this on your face, but if you have oily prone, ac if you have acne prone skin, you may find that it triggers a little bit of acne like eruptions because it is really occlusive. Um, but yeah, it is, you can see it's just a nice greasy balm. Sla oh, so nice. Slathered on your hands, your feet, your entire body. Any kind of chafing that you, dry chafed skin that you have, this is perfect. Three ingredients. Uh, my good old favorite, petrolatum, then cyclomethicone, which is a silicone. So it kind of makes it more uh, smooth, smooths off edges a little bit more, and is occlusive, and then microcrystalline wax. Um, so yeah, this is a great one, you guys. You can put this though on, on your face if you have to go out, cold winter wind. Put this on your face and then cover your face with a scarf and wear a hat to protect yourself from UV. Um, and that's that's a good way to go. Also your, your hands um, for sure. Um, put this on and underneath gloves because you, you have to take off your gloves sometimes and they end up getting becoming exposed transiently and with the heaters and everything, it can really dry out your skin. So. Yeah, this is a good one, and um, it's great. If also this also will work well as a diaper balm as well, um, just petrolatum. If you get chafing under under the breasts or in the any kind of skin fold area, it's really good. It just provides a little bit of lubrication, and then it also protects the skin barrier in those areas because it can get broken down. Whenever you have skin on skin and like humidity and sweat and irritation, the skin barrier there just starts to become, get a little bit chewed up. And as a result, it can become then prone to skin infections, like uh, little yeast infections. You can get what's called candida intertrigo, or a little yeast there. That's what leads to diaper rash in the, in the diaper area. Uh, so yeah, just, just strengthening the barrier with something thick and greasy like this definitely can help, and it can cut down on irritation from just the rubbing there by providing a little bit of lubrication. So, wow, I have really blabbed a lot. This is more of a like chit-chat skincare video than a vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying, anyways. I'm gonna go put this away. Ty B got a haircut and I'm dying to see him. So I'm gonna head to my mom's in a little bit so I can see little guy. Ty B, you look good. The new groomer you've been taking him to does a really yeah, good job. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? I like the way they do his hair. Yeah. Just kind of frames his oh. face. Oh, you wanna find a toy? Happy got your Saturday, sweater. Everybody. Got your sweater. Oh, of course, I'm getting one of my dryer balls. I love my dryer balls. <laughs> you sure do. Let go, I'll throw it. You look nice in your tracksuit. Is that is that from Target? Or? Walmart. Oh, it looks you got some good stuff at Walmart. Yeah, except for those two tops that I had to take back. Which ones were? I ordered. Um, I was looking for V-neck, long sleeve, mm -hmm. uh, one hundred percent cotton shirt, t-shirts. Yeah. So I ordered two, and they came, and they were just horrible. It was some sort of a fabric that looks like. I don't know, that they would make doll clothes out of it. <laughs> it was just a very strange fabric. So I took them back. Oh, your manicure is held up nicely. It, well, it looks kind of messy, but... Yeah, I like having the little faux French manicure. Yeah, it looks nice. It's good for me. I'm going to go maybe get it's a just touch painted up. on there? Yes. Yeah, it's not tips to each his own, but for me, they're not right. Yeah. Right, Tybee. Tybee dryer ball. Tybee ball. Tybee dryer ball boy. He can go with this ball all day. 
again. Oh, he wants you to do it. He's giving you an opportunity to pitch. You know, I tried to take back the dryer balls uh -huh. um, and put them in there because the white ones are the ones that I liked. So I put them back in the dryer. Well, that following morning, he sat in front of the little laundry closet and whimpered. I don't know how he knew they were in there. I'm smart, that's how. <laughs> yes, this morning on our walk, we came across a little um, cockapoo that looked a lot like Tybee. The, the hind quarters looked exactly the same, the tail and everything, but the face was different. And come to find out, she was a cockapoo instead of a multi. Oh. So she had a little more square, different type face. But they looked like they were cut from the same cloth. <laughs> yeah, Tiny. She your girlfriend? I don't know. Wants to keep going. All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I'm getting the blinky light. Um, that's usually my clue that I've been blabbing. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and, subscribe. and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Watch out for your dryer balls.